We just got done our own little walking tour of Avalon on Catalina Island while we were on board Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. I'm Gina, this is Doe, Isabella, and Vincent, and we make up Ohana Eats. Come with us for some cruise, food, and Hawaii videos. Okay, so we are in downtown Catalina. Well, actually, this is Avalon, right? Yeah, Avalon. I think Catalina's the island. Yeah, I think so. And what do you think? What's what's your take? It's like a typical beach town out of a movie. Yeah. They got like corny names for their stores, like Scoops Ice Cream. There's <laughs> a lot of ice cream shops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very reminiscent of like a like an East Coast beach town. Yeah, but no boardwalk. And oh we, yeah, no boardwalk. We didn't really see much of a beach, like a little bit of a beach, but they have steps going into the water, and um, people did jump in and swim. As you can see behind us right now, there are a ton of little boats. So people um, sail all around over here. And then that big circular building on the end. Um, so that's actually a theater and it's like really old. It's historic. It's like really nice looking. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, the town itself too is, um, I don't know, I think it's like pretty nice, very chill. Yeah, very it's chill. definitely like a nice getaway from LA. Yeah, um, yeah. lots got, of golf carts. Yeah, got a lot of, got a, like, a lot of rentals you can do on the hills and they have hotels down here too. And um, they did say that the majority of their tourism comes in, like lots of people from Cali that come over, and then also the cruise ships. Um, they don't seem to get a whole lot of cruise ships, but then they said come like November, December, that's pretty much it through March, and then the ships start coming back again. Decent amount of people, but not crowded at all, I would say, right? Nah, it doesn't feel crowded. It's very, uh, it's kind of relaxing out here. Yeah. You digging it? Nice to visit. <laughs> the small little boat that you see is actually the ferry that they came to pick us up in right next to the ship and you just take a quick ride over. It took maybe about 10 minutes total before we pulled into port. There are a lot of ferries running all the time so we really didn't have to wait long, maybe about 15 minutes altogether. As soon as we pulled in, we saw the casino over there and I didn't do a whole lot of research before we came because this was a last minute cruise for us. We've been cruising 30 years so sometimes we just jump on board when we see a really good last minute deal. Once we got into the port, we decided that we wanted to take a walk around. The town is really a cute town. It's very walkable. We did notice that some of the roads are a little bit steep. So if you are traveling with somebody with a wheelchair, you're probably better off running a golf cart and just getting taken around town. There were ice cream, fudge, donut shops, pretty much everywhere we walked. The cool thing about some of these shops is that it was kind of retro. It was really neat to see all of the old tin lunch boxes and the candy store and the overall vibes there was very relaxed and chill. All of the people that we encountered were really friendly and helpful and they definitely loved sharing information about the town. They gave us lots of food recommendations, but we had just eaten on the ship, so we didn't delve into any restaurants this time. We decided to walk down to that casino because it didn't seem like it was that far of a walk, and it really wasn't. The temperature was really moderate. There is a nice breeze because you are by the water the entire time. There's a very easy pathway to go in and out. You really can't get lost. We did notice that there were a lot of little boats that were tied up, and we saw some people taking those smaller boats to the larger boats and then sailing out. The walk over to the casino is really beautiful. It was closed when we got there, but we were able to peek in the windows and we could tell that the architecture was just beautiful. Everything inside looked really well preserved. And I was told that they have a lot of weddings and events there and a really big celebration on New Year's Eve as well. The view was stunning. We loved looking at the cactus and all of the palm trees. Everything in this town was really cute. It was a nice little day to get away. I wouldn't say that there's a ton of activity there, but we still enjoyed some snacks and definitely recommend getting off the ship and walking around. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more cruising, food, and Hawaii videos.